Hello, I am Gregory the Poor Typist, and I have a paper slash typewriter related video for you here. So, uh, today in Typewriter Club Live, I was showing some sample paper I had picked up, and uh, based on the samples, I ordered more. Um, these are papers that I, I basically ordered with the intent of um, letter writing. So these are these are uh, fine quality papers um, ranging in price essentially from maybe 14 cents a sheet to about 50 cents a sheet. And yes, so these come from a company I have been using for years for various projects. Um, I've bought a lot of their vellum uh, which you can also type on, but I, I wouldn't use it for um, uh, for lead writing, mostly because when you fold it, uh, it, it essentially it doesn't like to be folded. <laughs> uh, sometimes the paper cracks if you if you fold it, but um, but these here are uh, paper that I I have deemed um, possible for letter writing. And we're going to go through, show just a very uh, simple typing sample on the paper um, and discuss some of the other characteristics. So without further ado, let's get started. And I believe this video idea was suggested by Joe Van Cleve. So thank you, Joe. And if I'm wrong about that, forgive me. But I'm pretty sure it was Joe. <laughs> we had a large group on Typewriter Club Live today, so I was very, very happy, including some new faces. I would highly, highly, highly recommend checking out Paper and More, paperandmore.com. Um, a wonderful, wonderful company, and they deserve to be supported. So that's where these come from. Yes, you can get sample packs. And you see I, on there, it has the list of, of different ones in this particular pack. And I, I marked um, the ones I liked and then an exclamation point uh, by ones I loved. <laughs> so yeah, very, very cool. And also when you order those sample packs, they don't charge shipping. So it's a great way to discover what kind of papers work best in your typewriters, and also um, what you personally like and prefer. So this first one is white canvas text paper, 80 pound. And I, <laughs> I was using um, my uh, Olympia Splendid 33. Um, I think it's from the Netherlands and so it, it it has a bunch of foreign um punctuation but it didn't have the pound symbol so <laughs> so on these samples you will see I put LB uh so it's 80 LB yeah so th this I, I consider this kind of a classic a classic texture I think you can pick up that texture pretty well pretty uh classic texture now it Pretty much all of these papers are are definitely heavier than your than your regular you know twenty pound paper, um, but essentially they have to do that in order to get the textures in there and that sort of thing. So it's it's a premium paper experience. <laughs> yeah, so this is white canvas text paper, eighty pound, uh, just a good classic. Um, and as you can see, the, the ink takes pretty well to that. Next up, we have bright white cotton text paper, 80 pound. Um, so this, you can see, if, if, you do, if you're not into the patterned paper, I would recommend this one. It has a very pleasing um, texture to it but it it's sort of non uh non-intrusive i guess you might say 
So this is the bright white cotton text paper. It also comes in, uh, what probably what I prefer is the natural white cotton text paper. And some of these uh, colors you're not gonna pick up too well because they are pretty subtle. I mean, these are, these are both essentially white, but this one has a, a warmness to it, it's not, it's not bright. So if you're going for more of a, a classic look, then this might be a good choice. Again, the, the ink does really well on there. It's a good look at the texture too, so. And then also in that family, we have the gray cotton text paper, which I think is another classic, but um, perhaps not as, as uh, well-loved as the natural white. But I enjoy it. Now, it, this is this is uh, another another classic one. So this is classic gray linen text, eighty pound. There you see that classic texture there. That's the linen. And as you can see, all of these so far take very, very well to the ink. And the, the texture of the paper doesn't interfere at all with the imprint. See, that's very nice. And another favorite of mine, we have it in classic ivory. And unfortunately, these colors are not showing up well on the camera. But this is, this is probably the warmest one I've shown so far. Um, it, it even leans towards uh, like a very, very, very pale yellow. Uh, it's just too bad that the camera's not picking it up. But there again, you have that classic texture. And they also have it in sky blue. And this one, actually, it, to my eye, um, uh, I even detect just a, just a touch of purple in there, but it's, it's called sky blue. And this one, for some reason, is a little bit lighter. So it's sky blue linen text, 70 pound. Again, it has that classic texture to it. Very nice. Then, now we're going, uh for a natural cream linen text. This would be another classic. This one is definitely more white than the, than the ivory. So if you don't like that kind of yellow cast, this cream would be much better. Yeah, very nice. Okay, now this is the first kind of uh, oddball one that you might not consider at first, but it actually works surprisingly well. And hopefully you can pick this up. So this, you'll kind of notice that sheen to it. It's metallic white linen text. Yeah. You can kind of pick up that sheen. It has a definite sheen to it. It essentially gives you the sense of it being glossy. But as you can see, you still get a very nice imprint. Yeah, very nice. So that is the metallic white linen text, 70 pound. I think these metallic ones tend to be a little bit lighter. And this actually fed pretty well through the typewriter, even though it's a little bit slick. Yeah. So that could be fun. You might not want to use that for every day, but... <laughs> All right, now, th these felt ones, um, I really like. I love that texture. It's a more... You can't really describe it as a, a pattern. It's more of a texture. Um, so this is classic avalanche white felt text, 80 pound. 
Oh, that's a good look at the texture there. Yeah, this, this is one of my favorites. Um, although I do prefer it in, I tend to go for the warmer colors. Uh, this is the warm white felt. Ah, oh, this is really too bad. You can't pick up the colors on here. Let's see if, if I hold it next to each other. If, uh, ah, yes. There, that's a better look at the color difference. Sorry for my shaky hands there. Coffee jitters. <laughs> yeah, that gives you a better look at the, the color difference there. So I, I prefer this one. Although they're both very, very nice. Very nice. Those are some of my favorites. All right, now, <laughs> now for something uh, uh, kind of way out there. <laughs> Although you can still use it. Uh, the next few actually I think are, are gonna kind of be out there. So this is Silver Columns Metallic Text Paper 78 pound. And you see it has a definite uh, pattern on there. I believe it's coated. It does have a glossiness to it. Um, again, it's metallic. So you get that sheen. It does, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's coated and then they, they somehow put the texture on there. Uh, and what leads me to believe that is the other side is, is plain. Um, basically just looking like regular paper. Um, so you have the pattern on the one side, which is almost unfortunate, but and there again, you see it, it takes pretty well to it. So that's very nice. So silver columns, metallic text paper, 78 pound. Again, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to write with that, you know, all the time, obviously, but... And even, uh, even further from that <laughs> is... And we just have one, one left after this. This one is very interesting. Very, very interesting. Silver Swirls Metallic Text Paper, 78 pound. I love that. And again, you get that sheen. Oh, that's a great look at the texture there. Look at that. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. I love that. <laughs> and it, it still takes pretty well. Um, I think this one... Well, I think the the metallic ones in general the the print didn't seem quite as dark and that's probably not even something that I was able to pick up on the camera here because you can see that that's still that's still plenty dark so this is totally doable and if you want something really uh almost exotic there you go and fancy even <laughs> yeah love that but Here's, oh, there's two more, actually. Uh, the last two are just going <laughs> to uh, really kind of knock your socks off. And I guarantee they won't be for everyone. But I actually, I absolutely love them. Uh, one works better than the other one. And already you can see. Already you can see. <clears throat> so this is Limba White Wood Grain Text Paper, 68 pound. And look at that texture. And it's not it's not printed on there. It's essentially um, embossed, I guess would be the correct terminology. Because you do get the pattern on the back. Although I think it has it it has a definite front because the the texture isn't quite as um, impressive on this side for lack of a better word um, on this side is it, it just really you, you get a lot more detail on this side yeah 
So this is the uh, Limba Whitewood Green text paper, 68 pound. And surprisingly, the, the texture doesn't interfere with the print. Somehow, uh, perhaps because of the shadows um, that the paper naturally has, <laughs> um, it's, it doesn't seem quite as easy to read. So I don't know that I would actually want to type a whole letter on this. Um, but that's beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> and along that same line, and this is definitely not something I would use uh, frequently, um, the same paper in uh, Tindalo or Tindalo Brownwood Grain text paper, 68 pound. And other than the typo you see there, <laughs> um, it's, it's still fairly easy to read. And it is, well, it's picking up the color a little bit. We'll get a better sample of the, ah, yes, there you go. Yeah. So, you know, it's a little on the dark side um, for writing letters, but yeah, fun with paper. Fun with paper. And again, I, I typed on these with with my uh, Olympia uh, Splendid 33. You know, just an itty bitty thing. And it handled all these well. At one point, I inadvertently put in um, cardstock. And with a lot of help, uh, and it was one of the metallic cardstocks with a lot of help i was able to get it in there but it was it was having difficulties uh, but that that was purely by accident because you know i have these uh packages of samples and i just happened to grab the wrong one um as i was typing the text on each one of these so anyway i hope that helps and uh thank you again joe for the suggestion of i think he recommended a, a blog post but I think this was deserving of an actual video. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that, Joe. And uh, again, check out paperandmore.com. Um, a, a wonderful, wonderful company, and they have very, very quick turnaround. I've ordered from them twice recently, and it comes very, very quickly. Um, they do ship via priority mail. So uh, very, very pleased with them. Very, very pleased with their selection of papers. There were a couple samples I had picked out um, that unfortunately were discontinued, but they weren't, they weren't ones that I liked as much. They were uh, printed ones with a light, a very light pattern on the paper. So I can live without those, but these are amazing and I can't wait to start writing letters with these. So anyway, I hope you have found this enjoyable. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.